good afternoon. I know I'm between you and lunch, um, so we will uh, run through some of these topics, and um, my hope is that by the time um, I'm finished today, you'll have a chance to be introduced to CTV, connected TV, sometimes called convergent TV, um, and the way in which it's rolling uh, in the market. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about Kochava and what we do. We are a uh, software company that started in 2011 in omni-channel attribution, where we began was really around mobile apps. And we provide insight on where marketing dollars are being spent to promote mobile apps on iOS and Android. So think of 2011. This is obviously a brand new space. Kuchava has since that time grown significantly to be really one of the leaders in mobile attribution analytics, fraud mitigation, um, planning tools, data, uh, and a variety of things that are related to measuring the effectiveness of your ad spend. Now, an interesting thing happened around 2015. Many of our early customers on the mobile side who were doing streaming entertainment on Android, on iOS, they began to say, I want to be able to measure the effectiveness of a stream that's happening specifically on my iOS device versus when it's cast on the TV. Can I tell the difference of my audiences so I know which audiences are just looking at the small screen versus the audiences that are looking at the big screen? And that became an enormous trend across a number of our customers that were in that mobile space. They were effectively changing their code base to start to work with uh, smart TVs and connected TVs so that they were native to that TV environment. And so today, as we stand, we're four years out from that time period, um, CTV smells and looks and feels a lot like mobile did in 2011 and 2012. And the interesting difference is that where we are today as an industry in CTV has the benefit of all of the maturity of tools from that mobile sphere, and we're a great example of that where we're providing that for our customers. So that gives you context on why I'm talking to you about CTV. We're headquartered in a, a town that is not typical for an ad tech company uh, that's providing attribution and analytics software. We're in a, a town called Sandpoint, Idaho. That's uh, on the left side of the United States. It's the upper panhandle, kind of by Canada. And um, our core team is there, although we have offices uh, all throughout Asia Pac, as well as through um, uh, Europe uh, with uh, CSM offices in Dublin, as well as a development office in Barcelona and sellers in various different places. One of the great things about Kochava is that um, we really talk about the relevance of um, really doing fantastic, globally uh, relevant work for huge brands, but remembering the authenticity of where we come from, which is this kind of small town, small town stylistic approach of execution and service. We're a bootstrap company. We've never raised money in our history of being a company. Uh, we are maniacally focused on our customers as a result. Um, so we have roughly 170 people. Uh, we deliver really the best technology in the market for this particular area uh, of, of analytics and attribution. And we are focused on our customers using our tech as the secret weapon to why they're successful. Um, Kuchava means star in Hebrew. The thesis behind this was that uh, with the naked eye, you can see about 5,000 stars. But with the right tools, you can actually see uh, multiple, multiple different times more. And so Kuchava is the tool set that gives you insight into your audiences as an advertiser or brand. So uh, many different locations across the world. Uh, we're serving customers that are uh, folks like DAZN uh, in the UK uh, uh, and all throughout Europe, uh, as well as on the other side of the spectrum, D+, uh, or Peacock, uh, or uh, a number of other um, sources. So what does Kochava do? I talked about how we provide attribution analytics technology. Uh, while we started in the mobile app space, uh, our real strength is being a real-time effectively signal processing system that looks at exposure and engagement, i.e. impressions and clicks, and then looks at activities from any number of devices. And we match that up based on both deterministic, probabilistic, and cohort-based approaches 
so that marketers know how spend is being done. Now, one of the interesting things that we have visibility and insight to, because we see hundreds and hundreds of billions of events a month, um, is that we see these really interesting nexus points of fraud and fraud exposure, where a particular brand may not see that they're being defrauded, but we can see that across a myriad of brands with a commonality of particular sub-publishers. Um, we provide post-install or post-conversion analytics to really understand CAC to LTV, so customer acquisition costs, to lifetime value, which really helps support where you're gonna spend. Marty asked a question in this last session about um, the importance of the changes that are being made around Apple and privacy and SK Ad Network and iOS 14.5 and beyond. These are the challenges that our customers are seeing, whether it's compliance or a desire to show up for the consumer in a privacy-centric way. Our technology manages that whole process and gives the right insight while remaining compliant to these platform rules or uh, channel rules like Facebook or, or the like. So I talked a little bit about some of our customers. We're here to talk about CTV specifically. We've really been benefited by um, having the privilege to earn the business of some leading streaming media companies. We provide uh, visibility into uh, overall engagement in these platforms here as an example. And we primarily serve the advertiser, that is the demand side, the company that's, that's buying the ads. We also, uh, in the last year, built a net new product platform where we're serving the supply side of the market. And the reason is, these same companies also, aside from being an SVOD or a subscri subscription-based video on demand vendor, uh, they, they also, also are sometimes AVOD, so advertising-based video on demand. So they're ad monetized. And because of these privacy changes that are happening in the ecosystem, publishers can no longer rely on, and they may not have the interest in, trafficking advertisers' tags on behalf of the advertiser. They want to provide their own first-party measurement as a pub and behave a little bit more like a Facebook or a Google or a Snap has behaved in the mobile side around CTV. One example of that is Roku. So we work together with Roku. Roku uses our technology on the supply side. When you buy media from Roku, it's being measured by Kuchava in the back end. And if you are an advertiser buying that media, that may also be measured by the advertiser. But the point is, is that we're providing the pipes in between those pieces so that that's effective and easy and streamlined. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what's happening in CTV. I, I use the example. Um, CTV today feels like the Wild West of mobile in 2012 and 13. When we saw it, we immediately um, kind of sniffed that out as a team, and we found that there's a tremendous amount of not only growth, but we also discovered how the growth is happening. So there's really three convergent things that are happening. One is um, TV, linear TV ad buys are being bought in the way linear TV is bought, and a lot of that ad dollar is moving over to CTV because it's a net new form of big screen ad buys. Now, what CTV provides is measurement unlike anyone in linear TV has ever experienced before. And so when you've traditionally bought linear TV and you see what's possible in terms of measurement insights on CTV, you're doing backflips. And it's consistent with what you're used to if you've been doing mobile buys or digital buys. And so the, the level of uh, fidelity of insight on a per household basis or a per connected device basis is really outstanding. And so that's one of the big attractants to money that's moving over on a, on a brand perspective. The second big thing that's happening is a lot of the advertisers that traditionally have bought loads of media on Facebook and Google and Snap for a mobile use case, because of the iOS privacy changes, they're actually changing some of their media shift and they're spending the money on CTV but measuring the effectiveness on mobile. So the analogy is, you know, TV pitches and mobile catches. So they're looking at the lift over base of mobile engagement off of connected TV ad buys. So people who traditionally 
would not advertise on CTV are starting to, and they're really like these brand new um, methods of, 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 of advertising momentum, similar to what we saw on Facebook in 2013 and 14. If you were early on Facebook and you spent a lot of money quickly, you had all the exposure you needed. And that's exactly what we're seeing on CTV. And it's a really, you know, whenever you're new to a platform that emerges like this, uh, you, you tend to have the, uh, the benefit of winning faster. And so that's kind of an interesting observation that we're seeing. So a lot of growth, it's coming from linear to CTV. It's also coming from mobile to CTV, both because of privacy changes and otherwise. And just as a, 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 an interesting piece of trivia, you know, Roku has an app metaphor. You download apps on Roku. It's not unlike an Apple TV store, um, you know, in terms of Apple TV. It's a little bit hard to poll an audience like this and have it interactive and ask the question, how many apps are on the Roku app store? But if anyone wants to shout something out, anyone want to guess? Like, you'd think it'd be like seven, right? Or 20? <laughs> Um, there are 26,000 apps on the Roku device. And what's really interesting is in the same way that TikTok created a whole new metaphor of short -form, short form video in a social dynamic, I think platforms around CTV, specifically Roku, is creating a whole new metaphor where you want to um, compartmentalize content that you otherwise were making available in other medium formats and turning it into a Roku app so that you can find new ways in which you can engage with your client uh, or your, your customer base, your consumer. And so uh, there's some really interesting observations here because as soon as you are on a CTV platform, you then have the opportunity, am I going to monetize with ads myself, and what do I monetize? Do I want to monetize the other brands as audience extension on what I'm already doing on mobile and web? Or do I want to make other types of inventory available where I'm cross-promoting? These are uh, whole new ways to think about the connection between the mobile device in the living room and the CTV device that's in that same living room or in that household. So. Um, a number of additional stats. So um, significant uh, growth in streaming services. Uh, we have more and more uh, adoption around various different apps. When you follow the app metaphor, it's not hard to kind of connect the dots and realize that um, our, our CTV menu screen environment is going to be, uh, if it isn't already, it is in my family, um, a process of navigating what you're going to do that takes as long as the actual content that you're going to consume. And so discovery tools around what content you observe or what you want to see is going to become an increasingly um, kind of connected experience. And equally, um, inter, inter communication between a mobile device and your CTV device is already showing up, especially around, around Apple products, but I expect that that's going to happen even more. And the interplay between what you can see on deck versus on device uh, is going to continue to blow out. So uh, obviously, there's going to be continued growth across this kind of second screen environment. I'm a little bit more bullish than um, some of the stats that, that are out there and published because it is so connected. So let's talk about what this means for you. So one of the things that is hard to understand, it's, it's easy to say, if I'm going to go buy media on Facebook, I know exactly what to do. I go into Facebook's Ads Manager UI, I put money in, I put some targeting in, and users come out. And it's like really straightforward. And that's what has made Facebook so easy and useful. The same can be said about um, Google. One of the challenges and, and drawbacks around CTV is that we still have kind of the splintering of what's happening around uh, mobile and uh, open web ad buying, where you may have an agency audience that's buying through Trade Desk. They have to connect the dots for measurement. Um, you may have individual DSPs like a media math. You may be doing a programmatic direct through a particular partner. The point is, these platforms want this revenue more than you can imagine. And they're trying their darndest to make it as easy as possible. And sometimes that means making the inventory available through programmatic channels versus uh, kind of 
uh, uh, directly through kind of marketplace environments. Here's what I would suggest. You have every opportunity to take advantage of the endemic opportunities of buying media from particular CTV apps or particular platforms. If you want to dabble in CTV by buying it programmatically, you can certainly do that. Many of the stories you read about with regard to fraud on CTV are because of the blind nature of programmatic. Doesn't mean it's all fraud, it doesn't mean that at all. Um, but there's a lot of opportunity, especially in these early days, to build real strategic partnerships with both the platforms and the content against which you can buy endemic inventory and supply. The next question is really about how do you think about measurement? How do you think about the uh, effectiveness of that buy? I talked a little bit earlier about the, the notion of CTV pitches and mobile catches. That's a model that our customers are using at scale. So that's a, that's a very real model. The other one is linking identity between reg walls and mobile apps. So you can start to attach the connected devices that are in the same living room as the uh, content that you, you're exposing and making available uh, from this ad load. You can certainly do that as well. Kochava, because we have these demand side tools and these data tools, provides all of the glue to link together I, effectively identity ingredients so that you can understand how this applies to your own internal identity graph. Um, an example of that is an example we've done with um, Univision. We've actually done this with a number of companies. But Univision did a specific campaign um, that was really around getting out the vote. And across all of the Univision CTV inventory, they had um, our SmartLink technology, which is a, effectively a QR code with some logic to navigate the path of how that, that scan can happen based on platform, region, geo, all sorts of other details. And the QR code was in all of the creative of all of their linear and CTV environments. And in the case of CTV, the scan that was happening on the mobile device would connect identity down to a household ID so that there could be association of mobile devices against those houses uh, for continued audience extension, so they could continue to uh, buy ads for those audiences on other ad networks or media sources. So connecting these dots between um, CTV activation, measurement within the household and cross device, and interaction um, uh, thereafter is a, is a big, uh, big play. So I'll leave it with this and say, um, you know, you don't, you don't improve anything you don't measure. And where you're measuring, you tend to continue to drive growth um, and, and strategic in, in, uh, insight. Kochava is in the business of providing that measurement. CTV is absolutely a category that you should be considering if you're not already. And if there's an assumption that uh, that ad buy will not be effective because you don't know how to understand whether or not it's working, I would challenge that assumption and happy to have folks um, meet with uh, you to answer any questions uh, on that topic. So, great question. Um, Dylan uh, came with a question of what percentage of TV buys are moving to CTV? Uh, that's a, a great question. I'm happy to do a follow-up on that. I don't have a metric uh, per se. What we're seeing is um, brands like McDonald's, who have been long-standing customer of Kuchava, use us in multiple regions, every media channel driving the, 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 the app of uh, the GMA app, the McDonald's app, and this provides loyalty, it provides check-in, it provides a bunch of different things. They are doing some super innovative things around CTV to promote that app, which you don't even st install on uh, the CTV environment. Um, so uh, I don't have an answer uh, specifically a percentage of, of TV buys that are going over to CTV. It's something anecdotally I'm hearing a lot about. Candidly, there isn't enough inventory on CTV to capture uh, too much of that inventory, but uh, th that, that's changing and it's changing very, very quickly and I'd suggest you wanna be on the front end of it. So with that, thanks very much. I'll let you guys move on to your, your lunch and uh, really great to be together in person.